I'm Tasha and welcome to my channel. Now, if this is your first time coming to my channel, we talk about travel, credit, and everything in between. But today, we're going to be talking about the credit card churn, understanding your spending. Now, if you are just getting into credit card churning, a lot of the times you have to have a minimum spend to be able to get the perks or the rewards from the credit card. Now, when I got the Chase Southwest card, I only had to spend a thousand dollars to get 40,000 points. Now, you know, that's not too bad. So in this video, I want to talk about understanding your spending. Now, the reason that that's important is because when you're getting these credit cards, you do not want to manufacture other spending so that you overspend because that's what the credit card people want you to do they want you to overspend and not pay it off because that benefits them so in this video i'm going to show you when i was gearing up to get another credit card which i've already opened <laughs> i'm going to show you my thought process before i open up the card so the first thing that i did was since I had the Southwest, the Chase Southwest card, I had already been using that card every month for the past six or seven months. So I went back the last three months to see, well, how much was I spending? But because on the credit cards that I was looking at, if you had to spend three thousand or five thousand dollars to be able to get between sixty to maybe. 100 to 150,000 points. So I had to really take a look to see would I be able to spend $3,000. So I went back three months to see if I was able to spend $3,000 within the last three months. So let's go over to the computer and I'm going to show you what that looked like. So, all right, guys, let's take a look at this. Now, I was looking at this in November, and I went back July, August, and September because in October, I wasn't using my card as much, so I went back July, August, and September. So, you can see in July, I spent almost $1,000, but you can see my spending kind of went down as the months went on, so that only equates to $2,452. And the one credit card that I was taking a look at, you had to spend $3,000 within three months. So when I'm looking at this, I'm just like, whoa, I'm not quite at $3,000. And so now I'm just kind of starting to think, what is my spending going to be looking like within the next three months? You know, now we have... Christmas and so maybe I might be buying some Christmas presents doing some additional spending but that doesn't mean that I want to be creating spending that's going to be outside of my budget now when we think of creating spending when I opened up my chase card I was already preparing before I even got the card so I knew at that time that I wanted to get me a laptop and I already had the money saved for the laptop. So I opened up the credit card, went and purchased the laptop, and then I just paid the credit card off. So boom, that was so easy to get the $1,000. But thinking about this credit card, being able to spend $3,000, I'm just like, I don't know. And then with my spending only being what? $2,452 that makes me kind of nervous to say well within the three months am I going to be able to you know get the 3000 somebody was telling me that there is a third party service where you can use your credit cards to pay like your mortgage your car note and I even think your student loans so I said I'm going to try it now, with this uh, third-party servicer, there is a 2.5% interest charge or fee that you have to pay for. But I think, you know, that's not as bad thinking about the points that you were earned. Um, so, 
I'm going to pay my car note, my mortgage, and my student loans. So I'm going to try. I'm going to go onto the site. I have already signed up, and I'm going to go onto the site, and I'm going to pay those three bills. So once I do that, I think that makes it about $3,600. So that'll add an additional $1,000. $321. So if I do that, I should have no problem being able to um, get the $3,000 in spending. And if I if that works well, then the next card that I open will probably be $5,000. And then that way I won't have to uh, create any extra spending. But another way that you can um, get that additional spending is, let's say you want to add an authorized user on the card. <laughs> now, if you're going to add an authorized user on the card, my sister, she's sitting right here. And she's like, ah, I don't know, girl. But if you add an authorized spender, authorized user on the card, you, you know, as long as they're going to give you the money and pay it off, that'll be an easy way to get that spending as well. Also, you can, um, let's say, like I did with the Southwest card, and I knew that I was, you know, if you have some large purchases that you think that you're going to be able to make, like I did with the laptop, those are times when you should open up the credit card because you know it'll be easy to get that spending. So I know me and my sister were talking about going to, now we're already going to Dubai, but we're thinking about going to Paris, um, Colombia, and Jamaica. We're, we're still talking about which one we're going to do. So possibly I could pay one of the trips, you know, with my credit card and then I will be able to do it. So if that's something that I consider um, doing, I'll be able to get the points um, and get my minimum spend really quick. So if you guys have any tips on how to get your minimum spend, please drop those in the comments. I hope that this video is helpful for you. Please like, subscribe, share with a friend, and thanks for watching.